what really happens to Richard Keith Starr in Love Lucy. Richard Keith was born Keith Thibodeau on December 1, 1950. Raised as a Roman Catholic, Thibodeau went to school at St. Victor's Elementary in West Hollywood and St. Jane Francis de Chantal School in North Hollywood. He attended Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks for two years before his parents separated in 1966. After his parents separated, Keith, his mother, and his siblings moved back to Lafayette, Louisiana. He graduated from Lafayette High School where he continued to play drums in rock and rhythm and blues bands. He left Louisiana for Mississippi in late 1969 after going to college for a short period where he said he majored in drinking beer and playing pool to pursue a career with the band David and the Giants. In 1976, he met and married a ballet dancer named Kathy Denton in Jackson, Mississippi. The couple moved briefly to Southern California in 1977 where he was asked to join the pop band Starbuck famous for the late 70s hit Moonlight Feels Right. Thibodeau returned to Mississippi in 1978, where he, his wife, and daughter Tara eventually settled in Jackson, Mississippi. Thibodeau played with jazz bands locally for a brief time before joining a newly revamped Christian rock band, David and the Giants in 1979. His career was begun to be counted as a natural talent. Thibodeau showed skill on the drums at a young age and was making $500 a week at the age of three while touring with the Horace Height Orchestra. His father took him to audition for the part of Little Ricky in 1955. I walked on the set and there was Lucy, she was standing there and she was looking at me, he said. She said okay he's cute, but what does he do? According to Lucy Arnaz, who was interviewed on the TV show Archive of American Television, he became part of the family. For a long time, I thought Keith was related to us, because he went everywhere with us. Daisy considered him his best friend and was responsible for teaching him the drums. He came over to our house on many weekends and traveled with them during the summer. My mother kind of adopted him. He is in all of our home movies and photographs growing up and was a great kid, and still is. As a child, he made numerous appearances on The Andy Griffith Show, between 1962 and 1966, as Opie's friend Johnny Paul Jason. He also accepted small roles on other popular television shows. In 1964 Thibodeau appeared for a split second in an episode of The Lucy Show titled Lucy as a Process Server. Initially, he was featured in a comedic sequence at a train station in which a vending machine malfunctions. However, the scene was cut when the show ran too long. After the episode was edited, Thibodeau is only seen for a moment, entering the station. Nevertheless, Thibodeau remained in the credits listed as Richard Keith, the actor who played Little Boy. In 1969, Thibodeau joined the rock group David and the Giants who were based in Laurel, Mississippi. The group recorded in its early years with Capitol Records, Fame Records, and Crazy Horse Records, primarily touring throughout the South and enjoyed a few regional hits which were recorded in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and were well known in the northern soul music scene in England. After turning 21 in 1971, Thibodeau received a final payment of $8,000 from a trust fund set up during his days on I Love Lucy. Thibodeau had developed a drug problem and eventually left the band, which broke up. His difficulties led to his becoming a born-again Christian in 1974. He witnessed to the band leader, David Huff, and the other members, who later converted. The group got back together. The band released nearly 10 albums in the 1980s and 1990s for CBS Priority Records, The Benson Company, ABC Word Records label, and the band's own label Giant Records. David and the Giants released a live CD in 2014 titled Still Rockin'. In 2017 the band was honored along with other notable Mississippi musicians such as Steve Forbert, Tammy Winnett, George Soule, 
and Elvis Presley, by receiving the Jimmy Mississippi Dreamers for their musical contributions as Mississippi artists at a special concert at PV Electronics Corporate Headquarters in Meridian, Mississippi, along with Hartley PV. A live concert David and the Giants CD, DVD The Best Is Yet To Come was recorded in St. Louis, Mo. In August 2017 celebrating 40 years of David and the Giants music. In 1990, he became the executive director for his wife's company, Ballet Magnificat, which tours nationally and internationally. In 2017 the couple pioneered Ballet Magnificat. Brazil Dance Company and Trainee Program headquartered in Curitiba, Brazil. That is his story. He was the only survivor of I Love Lucy and the Lucy Daisy Comedy Hour. Wish you lots of health and lots of joy in life.